Welcome back, Alpha Hunters. Okay, I got a great strategy I'm going to show off here in this video. And it's called the Keck Strategy, or Calendar Iron Condor. It's also known as the Double Diagonal Strategy. So we'll, we'll start out by using the Option Strategy template to understand how this order is put together. We will then go through an order breakdown to get an understanding of profit loss areas. And then I will give my thoughts on the order and why this is my favorite. <laughs> and then we'll look at some risk profile charts in the broker. So the kick strategy is going to have different expiration dates and a different strike. Okay. Now how you're going to set up this strategy is to use a call calendar and a put calendar. Now, it's going to be a little bit different because you're actually going to use a call diagonal and a put diagonal. And I'm not really going to go into a video on how to do that because I'm going to show that off in this strategy since this is also a double diagonal strategy. So some of the things that we can expect from using this double diagonal or the CAC strategy is upon entry, we're going to be selling a call and a put, and then we will have multiple expiration dates in between, and then we'll be buying a longer term call or a put. Okay. And typically we're going to want this direction of the stock to be going sideways. And I would say slightly steadily trending in the upward direction would be best. Okay. But we are not wanting uh, rapid movements, uh, volatile movements and those kinds of things. Okay. And the cash flow will be a credit in for obviously the calls and puts that we're selling and then a debit out for the calls and puts that we are buying. But to open this transaction, it will be a net debit. And like I just said, losses can happen with any kind of dramatic stock movement. So like the high growth stocks and stuff like that, you definitely don't want to be using this strategy. The break even is going to depend. Uh, and we'll look a little bit more at that when we get over to the broker. And then our profit areas, as long as the stock remains predictable and on its, on its trend, bullish trend, you know, and we just have those sold options just decrease in value. Um, over the time that we need them to decrease in value. That is all we're looking for to make profit is just collecting that short term premium. So some of my thoughts on this order real quick is you get the double premium intake since you're selling a call and a put, which is fantastic, but also the, the long term options, you know, they're going to be hedged against one another. Okay. So one of the issues that I kind of have with the calendar and the diagonal strategy, just straight up. If you're just doing a call side or a put side only is for instance, if you're doing the call side only and the stock makes a dramatic move down, well, your, the call, your long-term call is then getting hit and the short-term premium you're bringing in might not be able to cover. And in most cases is not going to be able to cover the value lost in the long-term call. So this is why I do like this strategy a lot because the longer term calls and puts, they actually hedge each other out, which is fantastic. Okay. So this is going to be a, a theta play and using theta to our advantage to take in that premium, right? So selling those near term options, they're going to be great for that cash flow. And once they are nearly decayed far enough, you know, rinse and repeat, or if you got to roll them out and kind of manage those short term options a little bit and then, then do what you need to do. And like I mentioned earlier, this is going to be great uh, for stocks that are in a steady trend uh, and then dramatic moves and for calendar or uh, the diagonal type positions standalone. If it moves opposite your long term holdings, that's also going to be bad. But, you know, doing the double diagonal or the, the CAC strategy, you know, you're probably not going to have to worry about that as much, which is why I like using the CAC strategy. And, you know, it's one of my favorite strategies to implement. It took me a while to really understand all the, all the moving parts here and what's really going on, but managing the short term options is the key with this strategy. And I will be showing off another whole video series uh, with just this strategy. And I'm going to give you just a few little tidbits here, just coming up in this example. So we'll use the CAC strategy with a slightly upward trending stock that is currently around 376. And then we're going to be selling 
our short term options about a week out and then we'll be buying longer term options about 15 months out. The strikes we will be selling on the short term for the call will be 379 and for the puts it will be 376 and then for the long term options the strike will be 380 for the call and 375 for the put. So for the premium for the short term call we will be selling this one for about 230, $2.30 and it will have a theta of 0.26 and then for the put we will be bringing in a premium of 3.4 and it will have a theta of 0.3. And then for the long term, the call will have a premium of 41 and the put will have a premium of 40 and they both will have a theta of 0 0.04. And the net we can expect for the short term one week out options is $570 a week with the weekly theta. Now this is going to be a weekly theta here under this column. These are daily thetas over here as well, but this is a weekly theta just to get things to kind of line up. But this will be a weekly theta of 5.7 because it needs to expunge and get rid of all the premium that we are selling for. And then the premium for the long-term calls and puts is $81 per share or $8,100. And then the theta will be 0.4 for the week as we have a 0 0.04 times that by five for five days a week it will get us the 0.2. And there's two positions like that. So it will be a 0.4 theta for the week on the long-term options. So what we'll then do is take our theta to figure out our weekly gain. So we will have bring in $570 for the week, but we will lose $40 on the long-term, which will get us a net weekly gain of $530. Now the interesting thing to know is when you do this kind of strategy is it doesn't usually just stop with the one week. You kind of just keep doing it, okay? So you keep doing it over and over and over. So once this first week gets done, you collect your premium the most you can, then you roll your strikes out to the, to the next week, okay? And then you would collect in, you know, roughly maybe another $570. Okay, now here's the cool thing, okay? Is how long would it take to pay off the $8,100 of premium of buying the long-term call and put. Well, we will take $570 that we bring in and see how long it takes to pay off $8,100. And it will take roughly 15 weeks. We'll take 8,100, divide that by 570. And it actually comes out to about 14.2, but remember, we're not paying it off in 14 weeks. We're paying it off in 15 weeks as it is a fraction and you have to round that up. So that is the cool thing about this is it takes about three months to pay off your long-term premium of your call and put out of the 15 months you have your long-term call and put, you can have them paid off in three months and then collect $570 every week then until you get to expiration then for like another like a whole year you can collect another five hundred just seventy dollars just every week given the market doesn't do anything funky like sell off or anything like that i'm going to share with you some real quick tips on this strategy one i would not do this strategy on really too many things in the marketplace there's about a handful of things i would do this on the spy, the cues, that kind of thing. But the main thing about this strategy is managing these short term options that you are selling and really making sure that these are managed correctly. This is, this is really what needs to be done. And if you do actually ever find yourself where the market dips and you find yourself in the money on these puts, do not worry about it. Just roll them out and down as you need to over time. The market should generally kind of come back. But the calls, these, if the market does pull back, do not roll these down that far. Always leave these in the upper area towards all-time highs. You do not want these ever getting below the stock price. You do not want these becoming in the money because the stock just winds up ripping it then you are going to have a very hard time 
uh, getting these back to out of the money status and that is where you want to keep them okay so I'm gonna go through a whole series on how to use this strategy how I use this strategy on the spy and really I'm gonna go through uh, my long-term plan and stuff like that you know my thought process and how I developed it the main thing is these calls do not let these become in the money if you got to be aggressive and rolling them up rolling them out that kind of thing you know do it but check out my other series it's coming in the future so if you're in the future and you can just hop over and check that out great but uh, for you guys that are seeing this m more recently that is coming and it's going to be really good really good it's gonna be very clear and detailed on why this is just a phenomenal strategy to use okay so if you did like this breakdown on how you can generate weekly income with only long-term options give this video a like and you know let me know in the comment section if you're really pumped for that new series i'm going to have coming out about explaining this really this whole strategy all right so here we go in the broker again so i'm cutting in real quick as when i did this originally the menu for setting this up was off the screen so i figured i'd come back in and redo this so when you set this up you want to come in by and you come down to double diagonal and you click on the double diagonal click on that and then you will see the two shorter term this is set it up for we are selling those so the jan 12 which is about a week out from current right now those are the ones that we are looking to sell but when you set this up is it just goes to the next expiration after that and buy, tries to buy those do need to adjust this but whenever you adjust this you do need to be cognizant that the options that it might have the strikes it might have selected are not valid and i just know that the spy that far out on longer term options that's a five point spread between strikes but usually in the near term they're usually like one point spreads anyways just wanted to cut in and show that real quick just be cognizant of how you set this up okay finagle it now that's not how i would like to set up this trade and i'll show you how i do like to do it is I, I hold down control so i'm holding down control and you actually see these numbers pop up up here those are just hot keys so i just hold down control i click the ones i want to sell and i click on the bid where i want to but that way I know uh, I'm, I'm telling the program I'm, I'm selling those positions. And then I continue to hold down control and I click the ask for the ones I want to buy. And that's how it sets it up. And you see right here, double diagonal. So that's how I typically like to set these up when I, when I take on the initial position. The other, the other way that is very probably just really good to do is to set up your long the ones you're buying first set these up and then come in here you know buy your longer term options and then come in here and sell your shorter term options the, that's typically the way i do actually set these up uh, because i'm going to do it nearly instantaneously the market's not going to move much so it shouldn't be that big of a deal but that is typically what I do. So give me a few seconds. Let me set this up. I'm going to set all these parts up individually so I can show you some different things. Okay. So here we are back. Now the market is definitely closed. So we're not going to, have to worry about prices moving around or anything like that. But what we are setting up here is we have we are selling the 468 put on the spy we are selling the 472 call on the spy and then we are buying longer term 465 put in the 470 call for about 15 months out which is kind of just what the example we just kind of looked at so let's say what we'll uh we'll move these out to june that way we look at something a little bit different we'll refresh these prices there we go so we'll look at something a little bit different. So it's about a year and a half out. So it's about 18 months out. So that's a little bit more time. Now, typically what, how I like to look at this is whenever you're doing 
strategies like this and you're doing like a lot of combos, take pieces out and see what the heck you are doing. So as you can see here, well, we got a lot going on. It's like a big U shape. And really what, what this is, I know this is, it's, it looks very U shape-ish, but really what this is, is a, uh, a strangle. It's a long-term strangle. Okay. Now, since that's what we're buying on the long term, well, what are we doing on the short term? Well, we are selling a strangle, right? I mean, that is, that is a strangle. So that is what we are looking to sell on the short term. And as long as the stock stays within this range, then we collect that full premium, which in this case, it's going to be $573, which that's kind of crazy because I think that it was the example. That is how I look at the two different pieces, right? I got the long term and I got the short term and really the call and put at the long term, we saw it's a U shape. So if the stock moves down, well, they offset each other. So I'm not really worried about losing money there. The only thing I got to manage then is the short term call and put that we are selling. Okay. So we are selling about a week out. So I'll roll this forward in time and you will see the purple line just moves up until we get to that first expiration. And then there you go. Then you collect your full premium and then you just do it again. You just sell another weekly option. This is a phenomenal strategy to use. And like I mentioned earlier, I will be going into much more depth and detail and really just how to manage this trade, especially with these options on the near term that you're selling. But that's what we're looking to do. We're just looking to collect the premium on both of these. And then I'll show you some tricks in that series coming up. Alrighty. Take care, Alpha Hunters.